like he died willingly. I'll take his heart for the sacrifice. That's what I have to do. did manage to collect its heart. This won't be enough to please us, Clevios. The beast died unwillingly, and with just a heart, we'll only be able to pray for one life. Please, Clevios. The white bull you killed was mine. My farm feeds half of our lease. If I die, people will starve. I beg you! My husband was killed by the sickness. I have two small children. Who will take care of them if I die? I am wealthy and will pay you for this blessing. <coughs> it's okay. Give the sacrifice to them. You did this. You choose whose prayers get heard by the gods. I know what it's like to be small and forsaken. Pray for the girl. You'll regret this. <laughs> Not an easy choice, Mistios, but it's been made. The rest is in the hands of the gods. I did my part, priest. The Spartan woman you're after. You've met her? Her visit to the sanctuary is legendary. But sadly, it was before my time. The man you want is Nidon, the elder priest. He spoke of her often. That is, before he cut out his tongue. Cut out his tongue? When he's not healing the sick, he's in the guest house. Spends a lot of time being... tended to by the servants. <sighs> Thank you. I won't forget you helped me. And these people won't forget you helped them. Guards! They're dead. And you must be Midon. He doesn't speak. So I've heard. I'm here to find out why. Chrysis did this to him. Uh -huh. I thought he did this to himself. To prove his loyalty to her. Now, why would Chrysis want an elder priest to cut out his tongue? Midon is a caring, generous man. I want answers from him, not you. Tell me about the Spartan woman and her baby. He can only answer yes or no. The Spartan woman? Was her name Rini? They said she had a baby with her. Was it hers? The baby was close to death when they arrived. Midon prayed for its life. You saved the child. No? He did everything he could, but the baby was badly wounded. Did she tell you where she was going? Do all sanctuary priests take their servants to bed? I'm not his servant. We share a sacred bond. Sacred? <laughs> right. I know why Chrysis made you cut out your tongue. The night my mother brought my sister here, you and your priests left her for dead. And Chrysis didn't like you telling the story. That's not what happened! What do you know? You're too young to have been there. He told me the story many times before that wit stole his voice. He tried to save the baby, did everything he could. I don't believe you. Dead? How can my baby be dead? I don't know what to tell you. You were lucky she survived as long as she did. That, that fall was devastating. <laughs> my baby! My baby! <laughs> Listen, there's nothing we can do for you anymore. You'd best be on your way. Ray is here. <laughs> They're gone. They're both gone. He 
wept for that Spartan woman so far from home. Her baby barely recognizable, hardly breathing. Tell me, please. I need to know. Not even Apollo could save the child. Midon told me how the Spartan woman wept, held the baby in her arms, sang to her, before finally leading her to the gods. Chrysis took the baby, didn't she? And she made you cut out your tongue to hide the truth. Where is Chrysis? There is an altar where people offer their sick babies to be healed. This is where she took the child. Find it near the statue of Apollo Maleatas, and you'll find Chrysis. People come to this sanctuary to heal, but I come here and find people dying without hope, priests without tongues, and babies left with an insane woman. <laughs> My mother was a fool to trust any of you. I'm going to find Chrysis, and she's going to pay for what she's done. All you cultists will die here! seems to run in your bloodline, oh mighty eagle bearer. Don't you dare speak of my family, snake! I still remember the night your mother brought me my child. The sad, pathetic thing, crying in the rain. Had I known then that Mirini had two children. But here you are. My family is complete. You let my mother believe her baby was dead. But she was. Oh, how your mother wept when that little heart stopped beating. But then I took care of her, placed her on this very altar, screamed for the gods to spare her life, and they listened. What did you do with my sister? I saved her life by teaching her to suffer, to know pain so well that she would learn to welcome it like an old friend. And now she will teach all of the Greek world to know that pain. You... tortured her? She was just a baby! I taught her to survive! This world is cruel! It demands strength or death! So I gave her strength! Where did my mother go that night? That weakling crawled to the hills of Corinth! The monger was supposed to deliver her back to me, but she can't hide forever. She will give us more children! I'll run my spear through your throat for the pain you've caused! <laughs> this world is pain! I gave the most strength to cope! Your mother was a weakling who whined to the gods like a pig on an altar! I am more a mother to her child than she will ever be! I can be a mother to you too, Eagle Bearer! This goes beyond my family. You and your cult are going to destroy the Greek world. You bring nothing but suffering. You talk of suffering, and yet you come drenched in blood and threaten my life. You are a killer, just like your sister. Here, let me show you. Mom! 
my child. This baby is yours? She was dying. Chrysis had me bring a gift to Ira so that he might be protected. Chrysis lit the temple on fire with the boy and me inside. Chrysis is a servant of Ira. She does what needs to be done. What needs to be done? She left your baby to burn alive. And you saved him. Gods bless you, Eagle Bearer. Sleep now, sweet child. Mater is here. <laughs>